Welcome to Pioneers in Payments, where payments experts share their insights. Now, here's our host, Donna Blum. Hello, everyone. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Jason Bohr from the U.S. Payments Forum. Welcome, Jason. Good afternoon, Donna. Thank you so much for joining us today. No problem. Happy to be here. Well, to get us started, Jason, would you mind sharing a little bit about yourself, your background in the payments industry, and the work that you do at the U.S. Payments Forum? Sure. So again, Jason Borges, I'm executive director of both the U.S. Payments Forum and the Secure Technology Alliance. Uh, I've been in the technology space really since I got out of school, which is close to 30 years at this point. Uh, so I help lead both nonprofit organizations uh, relative to strategy and structure. I have a team behind me uh, that does a lot of the heavy lifting, uh, but I've been doing this roughly for about a year and a half at this stage. Okay. And uh, I actually met you at the Payment Summit in Salt Lake City. I, that was my first time attending. Uh, BHMI is a member of the U.S. Payments Forum. Would you mind sharing a little bit about the forum? Sure. So uh, the U.S. Payments Forum is, is focused, obviously, in, in the U.S. Uh, originally, it was created around helping transition to EMV-based technologies over 10 years ago. Uh, we do have members from across the payments industry, so everything from technology providers to the payment networks to processors to issuers, other technology providers and fintechs within the group. So it's a nice uh, cross-section of the payments industry. Great. Uh, well, the first question that I have for you, and th these are kind of my standard questions. Uh, people are going to get really used to hearing them. Uh, but the first question is, what would you say is the most notable trend in the payments industry today? Gosh, you know, the, the, there are so many. Um, you know, there has been a pointed focus, as, as I mentioned, really over the last 10 years to try and get transitioned over to EMV-based technologies. But now that the majority of, of the heavy lifting is done, uh, both through our contact and contactless transition, it has really begun to morph into a number of, of um, digital interactions and digital, digital technologies that help support the payment space, right? So you're seeing uh, an increase in the number of online payments, right? And with that, there's been uh, additional technologies brought to the table that help provide convenience and speed around those types of transactions. Okay, yeah, I remember that being a, a major topic at the, the Payment Summit. Um, so now let's talk a little bit about the, the biggest opportunities. So there's a lot of organizations out there that are processing payments. There's lots of uh, changes in the industry, lots of new innovation. What would you say is the, you know, the, the greatest opportunity today for payment processing organizations? Yeah, I mean, for the, 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 the processor community is, I mean, obviously they're dealing with merchants on a daily basis relative to processing those transactions. But I, I think at the merchant level is they are faced with all of these different technologies, right? And trying to understand them and how those affect their individual consumers is that they're looking for guidance, right? So when, when I think about the greatest opportunity for the processors is it's really around education, right and helping educate those margin merchants so that they can understand really what's most important to them okay so um really they're they're kind of serving in a in a consulting role as well helping the merchants to figure out the best uh, path forward Abs absolutely i mean there's so many different flavors of technology within the payment space today right. is it's, it's difficult to keep up even for those of us who have been in the industry sometimes right to be experts on everything but um, I, I think being that it, in that advisory role for merchants is, is a key part of, of what we do on a daily basis. Okay, very good. Okay, so we talked about the greatest uh, or the biggest opportunity. What would you say is the, uh, the biggest challenge that these processing organizations are facing? Yeah, I mean, along those same lines is, you know, consumers are probably even further removed, right, from understanding some of the, the different technologies that are out there today. I think that they finally, most consumers are becoming somewhat comfortable with the transition to contactless now. And we've seen increases not only in contactless card-based transactions, but also digital transactions with the use of a mobile phone. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think, you know, continue to educate consumers around best practice, um, our efforts relative to speeding up the payments process. Um, all, all of those things are key things, right? I think they're also faced with 
with the increase in online transactions, you have opportunities like what we call uh, buy now, pay later type transactions, right? Uh, which is kind of a variation of the old layaway for those of us right. who, have around, who have been around long enough, right? Um, you know, but, but understanding how that works in a digital transaction and educating consumers, all, all of those are key pieces as we move, move forward. Okay. Um, another thing that I've heard commonly too, um, as I've been having these conversations and also from the, the summit, a lot of talk about, you know, how to mitigate fraud. Um, so, you know, obviously with the, uh, um, the transactions and the payments happening that much faster, that window to identify uh, fraud is, is shortened. Um, and then, you know, as as the industry, as we're innovating on, uh, you know, you've got you've got the people in the payments industry that are working for good. But on the other side, you've got the um, the fraudsters that are also innovating. So um, it's that that part I could see as also being another one of those uh uh, major challenges right now is just to, to keep up with, uh, you know, mitig mitigating fraud. Um, so you know, when I had to add that, when I, you, you've hit it, uh, you know, the nail on the head there is I think fraud is one of those areas where with the transition to EMV, we're seeing less card based fraud, right? But it's moved to card not present fraud and digital transactions, right? So staying a step ahead of them is a constant battle um, that, you know, that we'll probably have to fight for the foreseeable future. Right. And it's a moving target, right? It's not as if it's a one and done. It's it's continuing to to change and evolve. So uh, as the industry gets more um, uh, innovative, so, so to do the fraudsters. <laughs> uh, OK, so my last question for you is just sort of if we were to wrap all this up and you were to provide like one uh, piece, like silver bullet piece of advice for organizations that are processing payments and you were trying to help them to navigate this changing payments landscape, what would that advice be? You know, for me, regardless of whether you, I think you're in the payments industry or you're in other, other industries really for that matter, right? Is it staying as close as you can to the consumer to understand what's important to them? Um, ultimately, that's not gonna lead you astray, right? So making sure that you understand in the payment space, uh, what, what we're doing relative to convenience and speed of payments and making sure that we're securing their transaction. Um, you know, I, I think ultimately that's what it's about at the end of the day is we're all serving the end user, the consumer, uh, whether it's a direct or indirectly, right? So I think as long as we keep that focus and remind ourselves that that's really the key piece, then I think that, that uh, we'll be good. I think that's excellent advice. Thank you so much, Jason, for that. Now, I want to make sure, too, that our audience knows how to learn more about the U.S. Payments Forum. So uh, what, where would they go to learn more about the organization? Yes, yeah, so our website is www.uspaymentsforum.org. Uh, right, so all of the relevant information, both in terms of some of the projects that we're working on, but also the structure of the organization and how you reach out to us in the event that you're interested in membership. All of that information is on our website, so please feel free to reach out. Great. And we were talking before we started videoing that you're already planning for the next payment summit, uh, which sounds like it may be in Salt Lake City again. So looking forward to that. Would you mind sharing with them the uh, the time frame that that will be happening? Yeah, sure. No, thank you for that. Is, yeah, so the next payment summit uh, in 2023, hard to believe, but that will that'll also be, we had it the last week of February, first week of March. This year, it'll be the exact same time frame. next year. Uh, it's gonna be held at the Marriott Resort there in downtown Salt Lake City. So look forward to seeing everybody at the end of February next year. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time and your advice today, Jason, really appreciate it. And I just wanna thank everybody for watching. Have a great day, mm -hmm. bye. Thanks, Donna.